Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B plus RV specialist. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. I will put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you follow that link, it's going to take you over to our website where you can see the pricing and the information on this unit. However, once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions on those, it's best to call us in our office at 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 2013 Pleasure Way Pursuit. Alrighty, folks, we're going to run through the inside of this Pleasure Way Pursuit. The Pursuit series is a very popular floor plan, very popular unit for us. Uh, we do very well with these. They sell very, very quickly. As always, I'm going to start at the front, make my way towards the rear of the coach, and then come back towards the front. Try to get you a few different angles so you can get a feel for the space as well as the overall condition. We did purchase this one from a gentleman that had a house both in New Hampshire and Florida. He kind of used this to get back and forth from one house to the other as well as some short or day trips and like weekend trips. Uh, nothing really extended stay. Kind of used it as a vehicle to get back and forth between the homes and then uh, the shorter trips. So we picked it up from him, brought it here to Ohio, got her cleaned up, ready to go. Uh, we've got a little nightstand here in the corner. This actually does pop up and kind of make a table here. The front chairs do swivel, so that's intended to be used as a table when you have this uh, passenger's chair here swiveled. Side entry. We have our tank systems monitor here. That's electronic. Buttons there for that. Uh, our main control center. Actually, this is a second control center. There's another one on the side of the fridge. Uh, we can turn our lights on from here, uh, as well as our water pump. We can start a generator from here and run our shades. There are two control panels again, that one there, and then the one in the rear uh, that's kind of by the dinette or the on the side of the refrigerator. Corian countertops. Um, they've also got this Corian backsplash here as well. Uh, very beautiful. I really like the dark wood with the light countertops. My wife would love that, that contrasting color. Overhead storage all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there's two or three even on the driver's side that we can't see yet. Overhead storage all the way around. Uh, one of the nice things about the Pursuit, one thing that sells these is the bathroom. In a 22 foot motorhome, we have this nice bathroom here. Nice big shower, has a Corian uh, backsplash all the way around on that. Nice size shower for a 22 foot unit. Toilet. Uh, bathroom sink, again Corian with the Corian backsplash. Also got a light control here as well as you can turn that water pump on right there directly in the bathroom. And of course we do have some storage in here as well. We do have a rooftop air conditioning unit as well as this nice big huge skylight. This thing lets in a lot of natural light. Uh, you can also prop it open and let some that or some fresh air through here if you choose to do that. Uh, this does have the U-shaped rear dinette. This is intended for two people. Uh, we're gonna use a series of boards and or the table to basically fill in this gap here as well as the back cushions uh, and some extra cushions that are in the cabinets. Basically this section here though is gonna get filled in and make one large bed this whole back area will become a bed. So a nice big bed. Two of the main things that sell this nice big bed in a 22 foot unit and nice size bathroom in a 22 foot unit. We got the stainless front refrigerator. This is a two way. So it's gonna run on propane gas or 110 volt electricity. Does have the freezer compartment up top. Directly above that, we have the grill two convection microwave slash convection oven. I'll show you inside some of these cabinets. Uh, this one here is split. Each door is its own separate. The back here is one large compartment. This is actually an extra cushion that's used to make the bed. Again, that's one big compartment all the way across the top. You don't have to store that in there. That's just where we threw it when we got done getting clean. These are going to be separate, just like on the passenger side or the driver's side. Uh, motorized shades that run down. This one here is the exit window, as well as... The one on the driver's side, both exit windows. This small portion here, the one that says does not say exit, this here can crank open so you can get some cross breeze through here. 
leather on the dinette. Uh, the table is in the front closet. I'll show you that when we get back towards the front here. We can mount the table either here in the rear at the dinette. We can also mount the table up here. We see that extra uh, table stand placed there. Um, we've got our propane furnace right here. Our fuse panel and circuit breakers are right there. Lots of drawers to store your uh, utensils and stuff in your kitchen. What do cavemen do on the weekend? What do cavemen do on the weekend? They go clubbing. As you can see, really nice, clean, beautiful unit. Um, been very well taken care of. I am going to call this thing probably about a nine and a half, between a nine and a nine and a half. Really nice, clean coach. Uh, I think this is the only one that we've had so far that had this nice dark wood in it. Um, I really like it. It looks very elegant. 32-inch uh, flat screen TV, remote for that laying right there. Uh, DVD player. We do have some storage up top here in the front. A lot of our electronics. This here is an inverter. If you want to watch the TV uh, while you're traveling down the road, you can do that. And I didn't call it out, but you probably seen it when we were going around the dinette. There are um, seat belts back there. There are seat belts in the rear of the coach. So you can take some extra belted passengers with you if you want. I didn't point those out, but they were laying on the couch if you've seen that. Okay, so here is the wardrobe. There is a rod up top where you can hang your clothes. This cushion here is going to be used to make the bed, as well as the boards that are attached to the side of here. Those are going to be the support boards when you make that bed up. Table leg there. Uh, table is tucked in behind the driver's seat. Both front seats are leather. Uh, power windows, locks, tilt, cruise, all the goodies up front. Does have a backup camera that is mounted up top here. Again, overall, nice clean unit. Outside cleaned up very well, shined up very nicely. Inside cleaned up very well. Very popular unit. I'm going to call it a nine to a nine and a half. If you have any questions on this one, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV. The best little RV dealer around since 1976. Alrighty, folks, we're going to run around the outside of this Pleasure Way Pursuit. We are 22 feet from bumper to bumper. The tires were put on in 2018. Those are Michelins. It has a 12 foot power awning. It does sit on the Ford E350 chassis. It is powered by the 6.8 liter Triton V10 engine. Nice and clean on the outside. This here is you're gonna fill, you're gonna fill your onboard freshwater tank. We have a small storage compartment here. Vent for our propane furnace. A couple of exterior outlets. Got a decent sized storage compartment here on the rear passenger's corner. This is a pass-through storage compartment. Got our jack up there. Uh, shore power cord laying here. The battery disconnect for this coach is actually up here in this little cubby here. I got the door off so I can turn the battery on. And this is pass-through. You can access this storage from the other side of this unit. Coming around to the rear of the coach, you can see the spare tires mounted on the back. We do have a tow package. Backup camera up top. This is the pass-through on the driver's side. Got some leveling blocks, sewer hose. Gonna fill our propane tank right here. This here is, you can use that to store your sewer hose there. Our gasoline tank. Vent and access to the back of our refrigerator. We got our Cummins Onan 4K gasoline generator. Cable TV connection, city water connection, black and gray water tank dumps. Uh, we can turn this black switch here is where we can turn our LP on and off. And that is where you're gonna hook up your shore power cord. Last but not least is the vent and access to your water heater.